Welcome back YouTube to Peterson Auto. Well, I got a three gallon can of diesel fuel over here, some jumper cables, a big old engine full of oil. So we got the oil panel welded up to just be able to test run this right now. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get her started up. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just leave the recording on and cut out what, you know, what may go wrong, so. I have no idea how well it's going to run, what it's going to do, or anything like that. We are going to use a power stroke to jump start it. So you will hear another diesel running in the background for a little bit. Um, other than that, though, uh, you will be able to hear this engine. I will try to make the power stroke as quiet as possible in the process. And uh, we're going to get you a good video of this if I can. All right, YouTube, I figured out all my issues, maybe. So we're going to see how well this works. as far as it's getting for today and maybe for a little bit uh, looks like there's a bit of oil coming out of the exhaust so the turbo may be what's leaking or maybe a head gasket um, not sure yet um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna run her on ether don't do this with anything with glow plugs but this don't have glow plugs so it'll function it'll be fine it's so gonna get a quick start here for you and go from there. I had it running for a couple seconds and yeah, that's what we're gonna deal with. she sounds healthy but I gotta find out what that oil is uh, that oil issue is so I know I have a working engine here um, to an extent I'm having trouble priming the fuel system but I am getting some fuel past the pump for what it is with the leaky lines and everything I mean is what it is we'll get you a picture showing some of the issues I'm running into all right YouTube so there's your oil leaking out of the tear bro it's actually nice and warm not hot warm no coolant in this but the head's warm not hot warm there's our exhaust lots of oil fresh oil too um go over here kind of see what i got going on uh these fuel lines are horribly horribly cracked none seem to be leaking did get a little bit of fuel out of that injector there but I'm not running the power stroke for another four hours trying to do this. To try to jump this thing. Um, Cause I have the little Optima here. This wonderful contraption of jumper cables, which I should probably take one of those off. But it has this wonderful jumper cable contraption on it, which I have running over to the power stroke there. Um, I'm gonna put the charger on this overnight. Hopefully that'll help out. Um, have battery cable hooked up there. A little starter cable, on starter wire there. It's just touching to the hot. And back on the bell housing. It's out of the view. Um, is the ground cable. So, I know I have oil. Put that in. Fix the pan. Here's the little primer knob. That don't do much. Um, you know, it, it doesn't... It seems like that might need rebuilt too. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I, I may just go ahead and say screw it. I'm going to in-frame it and call it a day. I don't know yet. That and why I'm suspecting head gasket is... That's supposed to be a coolant port there. And there's a little bit of smoke that comes out of it. So, either way, it's out of the truck now. So it'd be easy to do that. I'll probably tear the top end apart tomorrow and 
see what I can find from there. Well, sorry to disappoint, but you know, can only do so much here. We're gonna go ahead and get her freshened up and see what else we can come up with. Hopefully get her running in the next couple weeks. So once she's running, she can go in the truck. Until then, I have the cab and the frame, which are still apart, need to be put together. So, DT360 runs on ether, but not diesel fuel. And leaks oil, question mark? Find out in the next episode of Peterson Auto. So yeah, there's a little teaser for you. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, you know, any diesel techs out there with experience, feel free to chime in on what you may uh, think it may be and go from there. Because um, I'm always open for input and, you know, something I might not think of. So we're going to probably do a little diagnosis on this too because it's similar to 99% of diesels out there. Thank you for watching.